Evernote 10.97.3 is out, so let's take a look at what is new. You don't have to do anything to update your Evernote, it happens automatically, but if you want to speed up things a little bit, you can go to download at Evernote's website, and here you'll find download for Mac and download for Windows, and if you click here, release notes, you can see what is the latest version. In this case, it is 10.97.3. Three. From here, you can also see what's new. There's always performance improvement, which is very good, but this here is the new feature. This is just describing a setting, but there is much more to it. Let's understand what's going on here. If you right-click a note on the Evernote app you have installed in your Mac or Windows computer, you see this option down here, click internal link, which has also two other options. We have copy app link and copy web link. This is so confusing, but it is here because it was so confusing. This is being simplified because if we go to this other menu here, now we only have copy web link. Pause for a quick history lesson. Let's talk about node links. For almost the very beginning, Evernote had this uh, way to link notes. You can click on a, a link and go to another note. But for some reason that I don't understand, I'm not a developer, there are two options when you want to link a note. There is the app link and there is the web link. This would, if you want to, oh, if you wanted to open a, a, a note, a targeted note on your desktop client, you had to choose the app link. If you wanted that to open on a browser, on a, on a browser client, you had to choose the web link. And that's why when we right click a note, we have this distinction here. We have the app link and we have the web link. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a third link, a publicly shared Note link. We'll talk about all that, but what Banding Spoon is doing is eliminating this confusion. Uh, the app and the web link, they are now a single, single link. I love that they are doing this. I think it's much better to have a single link and don't worry, there's a setting to choose where you want the notes to open. But my, my concern is uh, when people click here and only see this option here, copy web link, some people may think that this is a public link, which is not the case. If I copy this link here and let's say paste it here, just a com common V or control V, I can go to that note but how do I know that this is not a public note? Well, it's easy because if you share this note, I can share it by adding an email. And by the way, uh, I'm always showing this email here. Don't don't send me messages there because <laughs> I never. This is <laughs> I spam black hole. This email only exists for 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 this account. It's uh this account is my second account, a test account. Anyway. So if I add uh, another email here, that person will get an invitation and I'll be sharing this note only with that person. There are three options here. That person can add it and invite, which means what it says here, that person can add it the note and also invite another person to see that note, can only add it, cannot invite anyone and can only view. So before sending this, you can come here and choose one of the options and you can change this in the future. Now, we can also click here, publish to web. And if I do this now, I have a link. This link here is a public link, okay? And as you can see here at the top right corner, there is now this icon, which is uh, to, to people. That means that the note is publicly shared. If we go to another note, that icon is not there. It's also here on the notes list, okay? So if I click here now, 
I can unpublish this. Now it's not public anymore. Or if it was the case, if I was sharing it with another person, I could change the, 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 the setting here. With all that said, I think this has to go and I'm pretty sure this will s soon go. The right click, there is no reason for this and this has to have the same name to whatever this will be named. I hope they change this to something like a uh, note link. Don't go just yet. There is more that I want to show you, much more. Uh, and by the way, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, this video has a B-side video. You'll find the links in the description below. Okay, for the next step here, what I'll do is I'll switch this uh, app to my personal account. I'm not going to show you that, of course, and we'll start using my second account here on the browser. From here, I'll share this node with my other account, with my real account. Invite. Now my other account will get an email inviting me to be uh, to see this node, to open this node, to edit this node. This is what it looks like. It's uh, a link. I can click here to see that node. Here we can choose the option to open this node on the Evernote app. Clicking here, we can also check this box to make it always open on the Evernote app, or I can hit cancel and it will open here on the browser. But let's say I choose one of these options and I changed my mind. Okay, let's go back to the other account, the second account, and I'll show you how to set this up. Of course, you have to set this up in your own account, but for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna show you my personal account. Okay, let's go back to the other account. Back to my second account, if we click here and go to settings, preferences, and here it is. In this case, the account is set to always open the links using the desktop app. I can change this to web browsers, always web browser, or ask every time. We are almost there. There are some final details that I have to share with you. So we already know that this is not a public link, copy web link. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go here to uh, text edit on my Mac and I'm going to paste it here. Although it's not public, it looks like web address, meaning that, for example, I can create a link somewhere else pointing to that note that I have in my Evernote. Nobody will be able to open that note because it's in my Evernote and that's not a public link. So, okay and I'll click here. And here's the catch. It opened that page on the web client even though I have it set to open on my desktop app. What happened here is that the first time that happens, Evernote will always open on your browser and the link will always open your browser. And look at this, Chrome had the pop-up setting uh, set to block pop-ups. <laughs> so I first will allow this to always open, Evernote always open, done. And let's do that again, because the first time it will always open on the browser and I have to set it from here. Let's close this now and do it again. It will launch the browser because it's a link, it's a web link, but it knows that it's supposed to open on the desktop. See? And now let's change this to web. And it will not do that switch. It will stay on the web browser. There you have it. 
you already know what I'm going to say, right? Pretty cool. <laughs> okay, another history lesson here. This options here didn't exist in the past. It was not possible to choose. The only way to change the setting was by uh, deleting the browser's cache. <laughs> Very welcome. <laughs> I like this. This is it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here on the channel, please subscribe. And remember, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there's more for you in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.